also want to extend the outside radius so that they don't literally like all crush inwards so to such an extent. So yeah, an outside radius of four is probably okay. Even at this speed, it's probably okay. And yeah, with a uh, all right. So so yeah, mob speed is is essentially like the rate at which. Uh, Oh, in our current system, mob speed is the rate at which explosions spawn, or explosive devices uh, spawn. Uh, the other, another thing we can do in, um, or the, the, another thing that I've been talking about doing. Uh, and so, oh, all right. So, as it is presently, explosive devices only have like a flat like ten percent chance to to spawn. So whenever a cookie spawns, like there's just a, a it's probably not even 10%, it's probably like 5% or something. You know, there's just a very small chance that, that it'll actually be an explosive cookie. And so, because of that, um, mob speed is like the only real delimiter on, uh, on, uh, how, how fast they spawn. But, uh, do, I have, I, I talk about it a lot, but I forget if I actually wrote a note to myself about it. Uh, <laughs> so over here, extend scan table, uh, I'm just going to italicize the things that I'm not sure I actually want to do. Can I control I? Alright, yeah. Uh, sack a mob with no room for ally? I actually don't know if I want to do that. I'm not 100% at this point. Smarter pathing? I'm Maybe for like a version 2, but at this point, cookie knockback, I kind of want. I at least want to try it. I'm not 100% that I need, need it, but I, uh, cookie knockback is basically... Oh, actually, I was thinking about what that does to physics simulation, and it'd be more expensive on mobile to do that, so I'm not 100% I even want to do that. I might, I might, I might not literally do cookie knockback, but um, I'll, I might still tweak how cookies fly, because right now it's a little weird how they do, uh, or elasticity, and or elasticity. Um, so yeah, the, that's about, uh, presently, like, when you knock, a, when it, a mob's holding a cookie and you knock that mob back, the, the mob goes flying, but, um, the cookie just kind of, like, flies towards the hero, and so that, that note to myself is about, um, is about making it so that when you knock the mob back, their cookie also goes flying, but then it, like, boomerangs back towards the hero, and, and you collect it, um. Oh, I don't know if I said it out loud, but, um, the, like, the slight epiphany that interrupted my train of thought, like, um, way earlier was, uh, it was, I was like, I know I wanted to change how, another thing, actually, I don't know if it's on the list, but another, and I didn't even add that other thing to the list, alright, but, um, uh, no, one of the things that I, I want to change is the rate at which you get, um, you get, the, the top bar fills with, like, powers and modifiers, basically, like, the rate at which you get these good things, <laughs> um, and, uh, so what, uh, I, uh, oh yeah, it occurred to me that, like, mobs could, like, could run in holding them, and you could knock those out of the mob's hand and collect them that way, uh, which, I don't know, that was, like, a, I was just excited about that, um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll actually do that, but I like the idea of, of possibly doing that. Because uh, they could, right now they just kind of like appear at random intervals and it's like it's a little like arbitrary, but uh, I don't know that could be cool. We'll see. Um, oh yeah, so right, I'll jot these things down uh, if, if they're not shot down already. So cookie knockback, I might do. I don't, I'm still not sure. I'll probably do it in some form. I'll probably do something there. Uh, limit desk mark. Oh, I don't actually like that idea. <laughs> I don't I and I've mentioned this before. I don't think I'm actually going to do it. I just like it's just there as a reminder to me that that I could be doing something different with targeting. I could be doing something different with how targeting works. But I'll I'll leave it like that for now. Uh UI clicking twice instead of dragging. That's the thing that I said I might do today. And I might still. Uh Mobs mill about between games. That's really low priority. I do want to do it though. <laughs> um, actually, 
I'm gonna add a separate thing, which I might do instead. Uh, or it might might be unrelated, but um, like mobs rotation, just in some form. Like I don't, like um, depending on how what I feel like doing with it, I might make it so that when you knock mobs into the air, they like tumble end over end, just to be cute. Because uh, right now they they always stay perfectly upright. Um, or I might make it so that. Well, um, prior to what was it yesterday prior to yesterday the mobs were actually spherical so the reason they never reorient like the reason their rotation like never changes is because on a sphere like it was never obvious if the rotation was changing so i never bothered to do it but like right now i could have it so that they like well like the way the hero works is that like one of his edges is like his front face hypothetically so whenever he moves around he moves towards the front face hypothetically um but i mean he's he's a He's also, like, perfectly radially symmetrical on 90 degrees, so, um, he, it's, it's really arbitrary, like, whether he's actually looking at something. Like, you, you can never really tell whether he's looking directly at something, directly away from something, or, like, orthogonally, like, left or right, but, um, so I might do something similar with the mobs, just so that they have, like, a, a quote-unquote front face, and so when they're traveling towards the hero, they put their front face towards him, and when they're traveling away, they, like, actually, like, turn around. I don't know. It would just make, it would, uh, I, I don't know, I, I, I kind of want to toy with something there, just, um, and so then the, the milling about is, uh, that note that I'd written to myself is just about, um, on the, right now on the end, end game screen when the game ends, I'm actually still running the simulation, you just can't tell because nothing moves. It used to be the case that, like yesterday, the reason the coins are ghost coins is because they're uh, sprites now. They used to actually be like 3D shapes, um, and the, th those 3D shapes would slowly rotate. So on the end game screen, there was still movement on screen. It didn't look like the screen had frozen. Um, so, uh, hmm. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, trying to thought. Um, right, yeah, so I guess let's... Uh, rearrangeable pow buttons. I want to do that. I, um, that's like a usability thing. It's not high priority, because I have much bigger usability things to do before it. And, for example, the UI clicking twice. Although I was thinking, if I'm in the UI system and I realize that it'd just be... No, that's going to be a weird one. It's going to be weird and different. Sometimes if I look, if I start refactoring something, I don't know, maybe I'll just get my head in that space, and so it'll realize that it is actually fairly easy to do this. And then maybe I will do this at the same time. I don't know. Uh, dash, and then dash alt set timers, and add out time. Yeah, visualize self in color. Uh, what was I going to add here? I was going to add... Oh, I took too long, and I've literally forgotten. What was it? It should be easy. Oh, yeah, change how explosive devices spawn. Uh, change... Um, or uh, spawn explosive devices or manage manage expo spawn rates uh, or spawn frequency spawn rate I don't know some, that, that's enough of a reminder for me and then the other one uh, that I kind of want to do is um, is uh, show mods, or, um, yeah, uh, mo I guess mobs drop, mob <laughs> mobs carry, uh, mods, and drop them, <laughs> or, uh, no, uh, I'll remind myself as, uh, oops, arrow keys don't work as expected, uh, <laughs> uh some, Mobs carry mods instead of cookies or coins or whatever you want to call them. I can spell. Uh, so, alright. Uh, Excuse me. Um, 
So yeah, that's that's good. I think. Um, uh, hold on. Yeah, I mean, I say it. It's pra practically my catchphrase, but I'm gonna wait until Pow three to worry about game balance. Um, it's reassuring to know that. Just to remind myself that like I have these dials that I can crank up because like every now and again I'll, I'll I'll worry like oh did has is balance literally out of control is it literally impossible to balance this game that I've constructed and so just just a reminder that like even with the like this game is like insane right now like if I was actually trying to play this game it it'd be insane so I'm probably not gonna go this far with it but it's just it's just a nice reminder that I can go this far if necessary. Because, I mean, like, although it is similar to Grav at this point, I think it probably will be similar to Grav in that, like, this game just runs until until you run out of resources. I mean, I guess B-Box is like that in the same way. The only difference with B-Box is that it's not as fast-paced. With B-Box, like, the, the game ends when you run out of pieces. Um, and, uh... That's basically just like another way of affecting essentially the same thing. Although, hmm. yeah, um, all right, so, so what? Um, I mean, hypothetically, I should probably consider adding in a, oh wow, mobs get really jittery when they, uh, When they when their when their speed gets higher because of how I set that up, uh, so it's uh, all right. New new note to self: um, scale out. No scale inside radius uh, by carrying count. Ooh, that seems maybe we might do that. Scale inside radius by carrying count. Yeah, we might do that. Uh, I was just thinking, ooh, that sounds computationally expensive, but I think there's actually a way that we can do that fairly, fairly simply, without too much added effort. Um, so. So, yeah, I guess let's do some of these now. Is there anything else we need here? <laughs> anything else I have to get out of this? Uh, oh yeah, the uh, the reason that um, the reason that I think that thing that I just said will help jitter is that um, is that uh, right? The the mobs are only jittering on the outside because so many of them are trying to get to the inside radius. Uh, inside radius is how close they try and get to the hero before they just kind of like hang out. Um, so if the inside radius was like bigger, then like, oh, they do still jitter. Huh. All right, so I guess that's not not necessarily a fix. Uh, so I should probably just, um, ooh. Maybe I'll just assure myself that the mobs will actually never get this fast. Uh, they're at six right now. What if they were, what if like, what if they're at four? Do they jitter at four? Oh, that's interesting. I put it down to... F well, no, I guess it's not that interesting. <laughs> I was going to say that, you know, we're still losing pips at four, but um, I guess that's... that makes enough sense. Um, they do still jitter at four. All right, so... I can't think of, like, a... Uh... I... Um, I'll just yeah. I I don't know what is exactly would be a fix to that. I don't want it. I don't want that jitter to occur. So I'm gonna make a note to uh, to uh, uh, to counteract jitter. But I don't know what that note means exactly because I like I don't have an exact plan there. Uh, uh, mob uh, crowd jitter or crowding.
Uh, so, all right. So, what should we do first? <laughs> uh, let's uh, let's regulate the spawn rate of explosive devices because that's going to have the biggest impact on like the how the game plays. Um, just to just to mention in advance, I um, I have a thing tonight at six o'clock. So, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So I'm probably only going to stream until 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which is in 2 hours and 15 minutes. So, just a heads up, <laughs> in case you were planning on uh, marathon streaming. I mean, like, sometimes I do stream until... In fact, more often than not, I end up streaming until, like, 6 or 7. But, um, yeah, no, today's just a slightly early day because of that. Uh, so, yeah, uh, just to mention... Um, so, uh, <laughs> um, right, so the explosive cookies, right now they just spawn on random chance and we don't want that. How do we want them to spawn? On a fixed timer? So like, so like, let's say every five seconds an explosive cookie, a new explosive cookie should spawn, and so then like a counter goes up and then and then whenever a new cookie spawns if that counter is higher than zero then it spawns an explosive cookie and decreases the counter maybe although then if you dawdle like if you waste time in that system you can get like a lot of uh you can get a lot of oh so I just remember something uh it's not super important uh, hey, how's it going? Uh... Oh, sorry, just, uh... I... I have, like, a weird... I, so, my... Excuse me. My screen name is spelled B-I-N-R-E, and people don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I don't actually know how to pronounce it. Most people pronounce it Binry. Which is fine, because that's actually how I pronounced it in my head when I came up with it. Um, although, like, sometimes I think... Like, if you think of, like, the the spelling of the word saber, S-A-B-R-E, maybe maybe it makes more sense to actually, like, by that, like, pronunciation convention, pronounce my name Biner. Anyways, uh, I mention that only because I'm going to mess up your name when I say it. Dlarok91? Maybe? I don't know. That's my guess. Hi, welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thanks for stopping in. <laughs> uh, I hope I did not uh, slaughter your name too too badly. <laughs> we, um... If you, yeah, if you're just stopping in, we have, uh... Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, I like that site. It's, uh... It's, uh... Lorac. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, I really like that site. I, uh, it's like my go-to. Whenever I, whenever I'm like, I want to watch something, that's like the first link that I click. I have like, um, I have like a bunch of links, because like, finding game devs, good game dev streams is a little, it's, it's, I don't know, you, you kind of have to look for them right now. They're not, uh, it's not a, it's not super convenient in, fi in finding them, so like I have to click around, but that, but yeah, that one's like my go-to. Oh, um. Yeah, another good one, just, I don't know, I, like, it took me a while to find this one, so, uh, I, uh, I, I like sharing it as well. Oh, look, and I'm listed on it, too, so, how <laughs> about that? Um, this is, this is, like, another very similar site. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, oh, uh, yeah, Princess Rika. Uh, yeah, that makes sense, that would, uh... That that's kind of like a, a kind of like a hybrid of the two, right? Because it um, that way there is still a variability, um, but it's it's a it's like a, a, a manageable like variability. Like it's a it's like it's not it's not strictly random. Um, I like that. Um, what is that? Uh, I use a. Uh,
That, I don't know. That, that idea just reminded me. So, um, I don't know why I have this wall of text on screen. That's awful. <laughs> but, um, uh, that, no, that idea just reminded me of something. In one of my other games, uh, Pay with an Extra Y, um, it was based... the uh, Yeah, the, the, there was like a... Um, actually, I guess I might as well bring it up while I'm talking about it. Um, in my game... Uh, oops. Uh, this game that I make made for a, uh, this is, this is a, for a game jam that happened a couple weeks ago, and, uh, so there's, like, a, there's, the, uh, in this game, there's a, um, there's a population of these little shapes, you, as you can see, I'm, I'm quite fond of the, uh, the little, um, just represent, representational, <laughs> uh, forms rather than, like, actual <laughs> art. Uh, it's, or, or it's not like my my greatest strength. Um, yeah, the way the uh, the population. Uh, so I, I had like kind of like a similar thing to think about with um, how the population spawns in this game. Um, because uh, well, I mean, it doesn't. You know, instead of uh, instead of choosing like what what cookie for them to hold, they it, it uh, whenever a, a new guy drops out of the sky, uh, the uh, the consideration is. Um, is as to the shape and the color, and uh, I actually I kind of well so the system that I used for 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 this I uh, it's actually based on the it's be yeah so it's based on the um, the population the the current population actually so if there are more um, of these like of these coiny drum shape things um, then you have a higher chance of of getting a coiny drum shape thing. However, I also um, Actually, I guess this is kind of like the opposite of what you're saying because in um, in this one, uh, the the population is uh, the likelihood of getting like a coiny drum shape thing is based on the 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 current number of the the current ratio of coiny drum shape things in the population. However, uh, instead of um, instead of like exacerbating that ratio, it um, there's actually an extent to which like it it uh, it like damp the the severity of that ratio is like dampened somewhat like um there's there's it's i mean the, i guess the, the net effect is that there's like a, a essentially like a minimum probability um so i don't know that, that i guess that uh that's your idea reminded me of that just because i had been in like a similar headspace like trying to come up with like how to how to solve uh i guess kind of the opposite problem in uh in in that other project um, there's not, not, not necessarily the op an opposite problem, but like a sort of a, a different twist on, on a similar sort of, uh, quote unquote randomness. Um, so yeah, where are we? I think we're just spawning right now. Oh, yeah. So we're just spawning, uh, we're spawning cookies in two places. We're spawning cookies when mobs spawn and we're spawning cookies when, uh, when a mob, which exists, travels all the way to the outer radius and gets a new cookie. So, um, so, yeah, let's, uh, for one thing, we'll probably want to unify that. We'll probably want a consistent cookie spawning <laughs> method. Um, so, I guess, uh, this is where we're spawning other things. So, well, no, I guess that's, that's actually more UI type stuff. Uh, so, oh, give cookie. Oh, we we already did unify it. All right. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> cool. <laughs> right. And so yeah, now we're just doing a random value based on uh, explosive cookie ratio. So yeah, I mean, time is definitely a factor. Time is definitely what we'll want to use to scale. Uh, the this. Uh, this inevitability or this probability. So um, I guess we'll want to we'll want to establish a cookie period um, because the I'm I'm guessing the or the excuse me the explosive cookie period because um, uh, we'll we'll. Uh, We'll want the this period to decrease as the game goes on, or we'll want it. We'll want the ability. Well, yeah. So we'll definitely want the ability to change this uh, from the from like Unity, so we can tune it and tweak it. And then we'll probably also want it to um, slowly decrease as time goes on. So I mean, 
we could do it as frequency instead of as period, but I'm, I think I'm just going to put it in as period. Uh, so do we have, I guess this is a sensible enough place to, to put it. So uh, let's have a f uh, float, uh, a public float. Um, uh, EXPL, CKIE, uh, period. Uh, and I don't know, I'm gonna say like, let's maybe it'll start at five. Oh, actually, it just occurs to me, uh, we want an initial cookie period, because if this does change over the course of the game, then we'll actually want um, to be using uh, a different one. Uh, so that we, so that when we restart the game, we can reset it because, the uh, yeah, because my um, uh, <laughs> sorry every time I set up something like this, I think of my friend who would who would disapprove, and like I actually agree with him, but um, in this case, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, so all right, so we have our we have our uh, public variable, and we have our the variable that we intend to use, and now on start, and also. I mean, I should probably just unify uh, start and uh, and restart game because <laughs> I keep putting things in both of these places. But um, for now, I'm just gonna uh, explicit. So uh, we're going to say uh, at start, this value equals the initial value, and also uh, I guess it would be yeah, restart game. Um, Sorry, just one sec. I'm just going to take my earbuds out because I'm actually not listening to anything right now. And so there's not a huge point in having them. Oh, and of course, now my voice sounds weird because I had them in for so long. All right. Uh, so, right. So we have our cookie period. <laughs> Explosive cookie period. And uh, we'll want... Um... All right, so... Um... Hmm. I think for starters, I'm going to I'm going to hard limit the number of cookies that you can expect to spawn by a given time. So you oh actually yeah I guess if you get floods of cookies like if if like no if like hmm if like if like let's say four explosive cookies all spawn back to back I think they're not actually going to be that clumpy. Because if, 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 hypothetically, if explosive cookies were clumped, they would be easier to clear. Because, like, you know, in one bomb blast, you might take out, you know, like, if you take out, like, a, a bunch of the cookies, you might, or the explosive devices, you, you might take out, um, you might, like, clear half of, like, the threats on the board uh, uh, with, with one blast. So, we'll, we'll, whatever we do, we'll want to avoid clumpiness. Um, and, uh... Yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm going to put that in as a, um, as a concept. Uh, it'll, it'll, um, it'll basically, so, okay, so basically, like, if, um, if a, if the next cookie spawns too close to where the pre, if the, if an explosive device would spawn too close to where the previous explosive device spawned, uh, we're, we're going to wait. We're just going to hold off, um. Because it's only, it should be a relatively short amount of time until, hmm. I'll probably want a sunset on that restriction. Oh, because like, I don't know, if you just keep attacking in the same direction and mobs keep going back to the same point to get a cookie, I mean, it... Hmm. No, I probably don't have to worry about that too much because, like, that could only you could like a player could only really incur that scenario early in the game. Once there are a bunch of mobs on the field, you're not going to be able to clear. You're not going to be able to control the clear, the rate at which you clear mobs with such precision, or like the area in which you clear mobs with such precision as to like. Uh, 
Oh, uh, sorry, I just noticed that we have a link here. If I click on this link, is it going to show something terrible in the middle of the screen? I hope not. Uh, oh, it showed an invalid URL. Huh. My network is sometimes a little bit weird. I don't know if that was... Uh, hold on, I'm, I'm going to try... Uh, no, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes my network is weird. I don't know if... I don't know why that... Uh, I was trying to... I was trying to... Click on Princess because... Oh, wait! Oh, it works fine at... <laughs> it works fine on my other computer, and it's great! It is... <laughs> wait, hold on, I have to try this again. Why didn't it work over here? My network is just a little flighty sometimes, but it doesn't seem to want to work. I actually keep multiple browsers just uh just <laughs> just because uh, hold on uh please work yeah <laughs> programming <laughs> all right <laughs> yeah my arms are um you can't see my arms on camera but um they're do that's what that's what's happening all the time when um it's just windmill of uh yeah <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> um, so, uh, right. So, okay. So we have a uh, we have the explosive cookie period, and uh, uh, yeah. Let's let's keep a concept of the last three locations that uh, that the cookie spawned. Uh, vector three. Uh, EXPL uh, SPWN or spawn. I don't have to abbreviate that. Uh, explode spawn lock and uh, uh, equals new vector three. Uh, I'll say length three and then uh, I guess I should, I should probably keep track of. Um, of just in an int for uh, expl uh, spawn lock iterator. <laughs> that uh, that is something I can do all day. Just the uh, the windmill, the windmill programming. <laughs> It's just a good feeling too, good rhythm. Yeah, that's. I think that's what it really, uh, really encompasses for me. Like when you when you get into that like groove and you're just like, you're just like your fingers are just flying, like literally flying in giant windmill circles around your head. Yeah, that's that's when you know you're in it. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, I think we probably don't even need to keep track of three different spawn locations. I'm probably being overly cautious, and so we'll probably dial this back at some point, but um, for now, I think that's probably fine. Uh, oh, and then, yeah, the thing that I want to make sure is that we... Right, I mean, like, I, I think we're, we've, we're all pretty much thinking along the same lines, is that one thing, uh, we'll definitely want to keep track of, of how many cookies are due, right? Because... Um, no matter how that affects the uh, the spawn, um, we don't want to or expl excuse me, ex how many explosive devices are due um, because it's it you know it's pretty much it's pretty important to how the game plays out to to ensure that we uh, like there's not an exploit where you know you can um, I mean currently in the game there there really is an exploit you just don't use your powers at all <laughs> like in the in the current like quote unquote system which I I just put in to make the game do anything, uh, you just, you don't use your powers, and you get, just get tons of modifiers, because the modifiers spawn at a constant rate, and, uh, but you can, like, basically inhibit the rate at which explosive devices spawn, but, uh, I mean, that only works for so long, but, uh, eh. okay, so, uh, explosive computer, so, oh yeah, right, so, uh, int, uh, expl, uh, spawn, uh, backstock, I guess. Uh, and that also starts at zero. 
Um, so, yeah, let's, uh, so let's do the clumpy thing, <laughs> the clumpiness measure. Let's, uh, implement that first. Um, so, yeah, where's, uh, where do we give cookies? Uh, so for one thing, we'll want to make give cookie bool, so that we can indicate whether we failed to give a cookie or not, probably. Um, and so if all goes well, we'll return true. Uh, but first, what is that? Oh, return true, sorry. <laughs> uh, but the first thing we'll do before we do that... Oh, wait, no, actually, no. Oh, right, no, we don't, sorry. Because this is, this, sorry, give cookie handles um, explosive and non-explosive cookies, so we, yeah, we don't have, we don't have to in, introduce a return value. Instead, we, yeah, all we're really replacing is this conditional. Um, and to do that, first we'll check to see if we, if we even can. No, first we check if we should, then we check if we can. Uh, so uh, if uh, cookie, what do we call it, exbl uh, spawn, spawn, uh, what? I thought I, uh, what did I call it, the uh, backstock? Uh, oh, oops, I just, I just typoed it is all. EXPL, uh, spawn backstock, right? I really need one of those, uh, I forget what it's called, but there's like that program where on the side of, uh, on the side of the screen, it like shows you like the silhouette of like your entire thing of code, and so you can just like, like rock scroll or something, I forget what it's called, but like, never have it, always want it. Um, okay, so ESPL spawn uh, backstock is greater than zero, then we'll know it's even time to to spawn a cookie. Although we'll have to hook that up so that <laughs> so that that ever becomes higher than zero. Um, so yeah, if if that's the case, then uh, what are we going to do? We're going to say. All right, yeah, so we, we have the mob index, so we, we know the mob's position. Um, we can say uh, for, for int uh, uh, i equals 0, i less than, uh, and what do we call it, ESPL spawn, uh, spawn lock, yep. <clears throat> Uh, dot length, uh, length, I don't know why you don't want to give me length, oh, it's length of the capital L, I think, uh, uh, plus plus, um, we will, we will check, uh, oh, yeah, I guess we, we need, like, a, I don't know why you don't like that, oh, I didn't make an array, did I, <laughs> well, while we're up there, we can make you into, to an array. How did I, dec I declare you as an array? I just, uh, I just didn't make you an array, right? Okay. Yep. <laughs> I can see how you would not like that. Um, so, right, and then we, we'll, uh, so to make sure that they're not spawning too close together, we'll also put in a radius. Um, so, right, so, yeah, just another float value, a uh, public one. Uh, so public float, um, expl, e, <laughs> xpl, uh, spawn, uh, min radius equals, um, so they're all spawning on the outer circle, and the outer circle is, uh, I think at present, and probably for the shipping version, it might change a little bit, but it's going to be somewhere in the vicinity of, like, 15 units. So if it's 15 units out, like that's a pretty big, blah, 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 pretty big circumference. I'm thinking like we could set this explosion spawn min radius. Um, we don't want to set it too high because if we set it too high, these cookies just won't spawn and uh, 
and uh, we'll have to keep looking for them, which could get, you know, it just adds to the computational cost. So uh, let's just make sure that they're at least like, at least like, because this, this probably shouldn't even come up especially often. Um, so let's not look much further than say four units around. And, uh, and of course we can change that as, uh, as needed. Uh, and, I don't know, uh, whatever, uh, <laughs> oh, did I, and I, yeah, I made the, the other thing an array that had to be an array, uh, rock scroll, is it called, rock, oh, too far, too far, <laughs> uh, gotta get that, whatever it's called, um, all right, so, so, right, so we're checking, we're iterating through this, and we're, so, um, if, uh, 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 I guess, um, so those vectors, are they, what did they initialize to like zero, zero, zero? Um, I'm just going to check what they initialized to. I think they initialized to zero, 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 but let's find out. So, because uh, we're not doing anything to them except we're just setting that vector to be, we're setting those, those vector three, that vector three array to be uh, length three, a new new one of length three. And so uh, let's just print, um, uh, what is it, xpl uh, spawn lock uh, dot zero, or index zero uh, dot to string just to see what it what it initialized to because I think it I think it initialized the origin and if so that's fine because uh, the origin is what oh to string you don't like that so all right we'll just say uh, oh wait oh no it's because I didn't put the Francis at the end do you like that all right cool all right so that's legit uh, so let's see yeah, okay, this is initialized to zero, zero, zero. And actually, now that, now that I think about it, um, the hero is currently offset to negative five, but there's no reason he couldn't stand at the origin to start with, I guess? I don't know. Uh, nah, I'll leave him there. It's a little weird that he's offset, I guess, but whatever. Um, no big deal. Uh, anyways, yeah, so the thing that we were going to do seems to be on track to work correctly. Uh, uh, rock scroll, or whatever it's called, it's <laughs> too far, <laughs> um, <laughs> give, okay, so, if, um, so yeah, we don't have to, we don't have to worry about whether they're initialized or anything, uh, we can just say, if, um, uh, parenthesis, open parenthesis, uh, expl spawn lock, expl spawn lock, uh, i, minus uh, mobs mi because we have the mob index of this mob who, to whom we're giving a cookie uh, dot transform dot position uh, if the magnitude of that is greater than uh, expl cookie or no expl spawn min radius uh, if it's greater yeah if, if it's greater then we're good to go uh, so we can say uh, what are we doing? <laughs> I mean, this is basically where we spawn it, right? Uh, so right, so this whole thing that we used to be doing, yeah. Uh, we can put that there, and then what else do we have to do? We want to, we want to say, um, uh, mobs, this term that we just used, the position, so this is the, um, this is now the new most recent spawn location, or it will be the new most recent spawn location, so, uh, mobs mi.transform.position, oh, wait, no, so what we're setting equal to that is, uh, uh, expl spawn 
lock, but not necessarily I, because I is just the... Oh, wait, no. I'm a silly person. This doesn't go here. Uh, right, so, okay. So, hold on. I'm going to put a bool here. Bool, um, uh, uh, rad clear, I guess, equals, uh, true. And then, so I'm going to... Oh, I oh, we got a new follower! Hey! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't recognize that noise, because this is the first time that it's actually happened uh, while I've been streaming. So, uh, thank you. Yeah, I just set that up the other day. I didn't know if it even worked. Uh, thank you, Princess Rika, for uh, <laughs> joining the party. <laughs> Glad to have you aboard. <laughs> and that thing works, so that's cool. I don't know if you could hear it. I have, a, uh, I have the, the stream... Like, my PC audio is muted for the stream, but it still plays through my speakers, which the microphone hypothetically could pick up. It's just like a little chime noise. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, thank you for joining. I, uh, I, uh, I hope to remain an interesting stream so that you, uh, your viewership is, uh, is rewarded. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, so I guess I actually don't need to perform operations inside this, uh, this loop, because really all I want to check here is that if... Um, so yeah, I inverted this conditional statement. Now I'm saying if the magnitude is less than the explosion spawnman radius, then it's too close to one of the previously spawned. Uh... Oh, okay, cool. You can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it. Well, it's dangerous to go alone, but. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Uh, we got a solid crew at this point. It's it's only getting more solid by the day. <laughs> um, so, oh yeah, right. so I inverted this conditional, so now we're actually checking if the, the magnitude is less than the explosion spawn radius, in which case we know that we're too close. This mob is standing near to where a another explosive crew just spawned recently, so like, wait, wait a minute, wait for the next one. Um, so... So we'll say uh, rad clear is false because, yeah, uh, we can say well we can say rad clear equals uh, false, and then we can also just break because if if we hit this on the first one, then we don't have to bother checking the other ones. Um, so, so then uh, yeah, then we can say. Uh, right, so down here, once we've once we've run that check, uh, this is the case where. So this is where the case goes. This is this is where. Oh no, is it still on clipboard? Oh good, it's still on clipboard. <laughs> That's convenient. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot I deleted it and then started and then got distracted by other stuff. But all right, it's still on clipboard. So this is the case where in uh, we spawn. Uh, Spawn that. Um, so we don't want to use an else case to explosion spawn backstock greater than zero because there are two cases in which we want to process this else. So, but so so actually the condition in which we we'll want to process this this other case is uh, if explosion spawn backstock is less than zero, or equals zero, less than or equal to zero, I don't, it shouldn't ever go negative, but let's, uh, I don't know, or, oops, or, uh, not rad clear, because the only time rad clear will be false is if we, is if explosion spawn backstock was greater than zero, and we failed that check, so, in either of those two cases, we just spawn, like, the regular cookie, oh, right, but, okay, so the thing we're not doing here yet is, uh, Right, okay. Well, actually, I had it partly written and then deleted it for some reason. Um, so, we know that this is the this is now the position of the most recently spawned cookie, so, or explosion, explosive device. Um, so, yeah, that we're going to use that. Specifically, we're going to set one of the explosion spawn locations to, to, to be equal to that, and actually the index of the... Oops, I deleted it, man. Uh, the index that we're going to use is expl 
uh, spawn lock it. It's kind of wordy, actually. Uh, I'm actually going to just refactor that to something much shorter. Hopefully, this will be memorable enough. <laughs> I just don't like long. I just don't like long terms inside an iterator or inside a, an index for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, so, right, we want to, um, we'll use that one, but we don't want to use the same one next time, so we'll increment it. We won't just increment it, because we, we just want to keep looping through those three, so we'll say, um, uh, exp, or we'll say, yeah, so expl iterator, uh, equals expl iterator, uh, plus one. So we're, we're basically incrementing it, but then we're also, uh, we'll also, go modulo uh, the length of expl spawn block, which right now is just three, but I don't know. I might want to tune that. I probably won't <laughs> care, but I might. Who knows? Length. And I think with, I think for order of operations, I want to, uh, hey, welcome back. Uh, um, while you're gone, we the first for the the first time since I set up the new follower alert we got a new follower and so we got to see that happen it was pretty rad the the coding stuff you didn't miss much but that that was the, that was the high point <laughs> uh, so so yeah now now we're keeping track of of uh, some of our spawn positions for the explosive devices and um, uh, we, so we shouldn't get any clumping we this should be should be a pretty, pretty good countermeasure to that. Um, because the, uh, because the, yeah, <laughs> thank you. Um, because the, uh, because there are three of them and the radius is set to four, I don't know. Like, the radius of four to me, is, well, okay, so I already saved it, so I'll have to tune it out here. Um, but the, uh, Oh yeah, right. That's true. We haven't done that yet. Um, if there are if there are three of them, and the radius is four, that might be that might be slightly too much space. I think I'm gonna put the min radius down to like three, because I think three is still a good enough distance. It's a, I wanted it to be at least a, a reasonable distance because like a reason like I wanted it to be high enough because uh, four like four units on the outer radius. Uh, doesn't represent like a huge angle in terms of like the distance between like um so like yeah like because the the hero is always at the center like the the radius is, it, the hero is literally the center of this uh, the circle uh, and so like because like the because the radius of the yeah because the outer radius is like 15 or 16 15 I think four units at the end like that's still a, it's still really narrow but yeah, you know what? Four is probably fine, because it's it's a big circumference. So even even like you know chunking out like a total a, like when the when these are very spread out, which they will be most of the time, um, chunking out four four. Uh, well, no, I guess it's like eight total because the di it's the it would chunk out like not literally eight, but like almost it would pr almost take eight units out of the circumference. So. So yeah, three. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like I'm just trying to think about uh, of, like how cautious we want to be. Um, the fact that we're doing it several times over, I think, will help too. Uh, because even if e now, even if like two of them spawn like close-ish, then like we're guaranteed not to get another one like basically anywhere near. Because like when two of those locations are relatively close to each other, then. Um, it'll block out a pretty big swath of, like, the arc. So, that should be good. Um, and, oops, uh, <laughs> in mono develop, control shift S is save all, but in, uh, in Unity, control shift S is save as. <laughs> so, <laughs> when you see the save as dialogue, it's because I forgot. Uh, I, was, I was just on muscle memory. Um, so, yeah, backstock is never going to be greater than zero, because <laughs> we haven't done that yet, so... Uh, for starters, let's just slap in, 
yeah so the place that um oh yeah there's so th there's kind of like a spot and fixed update where we like check the timing of things that happen intermittently which is right around here um we only need to do this during post more equals one or no wait no we else yeah no if post more equals zero this is the we only have to do this uh post more kind of a weird name i should probably change it to something else but it's where it's whether it's how we keep track of how over the game is like the, while the game is playing post more equals zero and then when you when the game ends post more equals one and then i'm probably gonna like at some point i'm probably gonna have like a better end of game screen like something more is gonna happen than just the restart button appearing but right now it just like waits uh what is it it waits like several seconds and then it shows you the restart button so that's all that's about and yeah there's definitely a better name for it i was being cute when I came up with it, but um, in this section here, because uh, we don't have to spawn anything if the game's over, because if the game's over, the hero's not there, and so the radius is, like, meaningless. Um, it's, it's just, like, an idle simulation, basically. Uh, so... Whoop, oh, uh, no. Is that... Oh, yeah, this is a big, this is a big block. <laughs> um... <laughs> super over yeah this game it gets it gets pretty done for time to time uh, but <laughs> um, uh, so right so let's say if um, if uh, I guess we need a new variable to keep track of when the last, the last time we incremented up the backstock. Uh, I guess it's not really backstock, because, like, this is the only way it really gets stocked. And I don't like how long this <laughs> variable name is. So, <laughs> excuse me, I'm getting to, um, <laughs> I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, all right, so then, yeah, so another thing we'll want is, um, is float uh, expl uh, cookie... Uh, uh, spawn time, I guess. Or no, uh, oh, wait, uh, yeah, I'm not using this variable yet, so I can rename it, because I actually meant to name it XPL spawn period, uh, XPL spawn, uh, time, uh, and that'll just be the, the time at which XPL spawn period, or uh, yeah, the the last time essentially. Uh, oh, was it? Oh, I was using it. Uh, right. <laughs> so right, I changed that. Sorry, I changed it. I just, I don't know why I just changed it manually. I should have just refactored it just to be safe. But I, oh right, yeah, it, it told me I wasn't using this, but it just meant that. So, uh. Uh, all right, yeah, okay, that's, so that's, that's much better. Yeah, I wasn't using it, but I was still assigning it. All right, so, XPL spawn period. Um, and let's also, I also, so, I think once we introduce explosive cookies, we'll want them to occur at a rate faster than the time it takes for the first one to show up, because I don't want to, I don't want to throw the player into jeopardy right at the start of the game. Like, I don't want literally the first thing to spawn to be an explosive cookie, and I think I actually want to wait longer than the spawn period before um, before spawning the first one, even. So I think uh, I'm also going to add uh, uh, a public... Because I'm probably going to want to team this, too. A public float for EXPL... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, EXPL. Uh, yeah, this is uh, fairly straightforward. I'll I'll move it though. Um, it's basically like an init for the uh, spawn time. So yeah, EXPL spawn uh, time init. Yeah, and I think that it'll probably be like so. Like the way the game is paced out presently, the first modifier doesn't appear until. 15 seconds into the game, 
which might be too long, but um, I guess we can introduce this sooner. So let's say, oh, so, I mean, we're going to change how modifiers work anyway, so, so I can worry about that again later. But I guess for now I'll say it'll take 10 seconds for the first one to spawn, and then it'll actually take more than 10 seconds before the player actually even sees it because it'll spawn on the outside radius and then it'll waddle slowly towards or not super slowly but it'll it'll waddle gradually towards the player and it'll eventually um yeah so so uh, it'll, it'll yeah that, that gives the player if it's a new player like they might need a second to get a grip on what is going on before we throw too many things at them so uh right so the pl same place that we were initializing um that thing that I messed up. <laughs> uh, let's also initialize. Uh, so on restart, it's uh, expl. Well, I guess it'll be basically the same thing either way. Uh, spawn time uh, equals time dot fixed. I think this happens on fixed time. Pretty sure. Every, pretty much everything happens on fixed time. Uh, plus uh, expl spawn period. Uh, EXPL spawn period. So, yeah, we just reset the spawn period to be what it should be at the start of the game, and now we are resetting the, uh, or now we're setting the, the, oh, alright, so, so actually I'm using spawn time as a, uh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's fine. How it is. All right. Um. All right. So copy. Uh. Do it here as well. I should unify those. But that's not gonna be fun. So I'll do it another time. <laughs> uh, when I'll do it. I'll probably do it when I'm offline, <laughs> so you guys don't have to watch. Um. All right. So. So yeah. Now we're now we're probably good to go. Um. Right, we can just say, because we have those values initializing, so in that spot that we carved out for, well, I guess we didn't finish carving that yet. Here it is. Um, uh, so if, uh, right, this is how we're, this is where we're spawning uh, modifiers, just like on a schedule. That's one of the next things that we'll want to change. Um, uh, so, right, so if uh, spawn... Um, or no, if EXPL uh, spawn time, time, the way we're setting time is, uh, wait, right? did I just, uh, I was sorry, yeah, I was, um, I, I, I should probably just make it bigger. It, yes, this, sometimes I, I don't know yet, as, as soon as it appears, but thank you so much for watching. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm glad at least something was interesting enough for you to hit the follow button. I, I really appreciate that. It's, it's like my favorite thing. So, <laughs> uh, thank you for, thank you for tuning in watching and, uh, I, I hope to see you again. Have a good time with your, uh, with your uncle. I, uh. I, um, I, I, I do this thing where I keep, t if, when someone says goodbye, they, like, or someone says that they're departing, I'll keep talking, and it's just because I'm in the habit of, like, continue talking, don't, please don't feel obligated to, like, to stay until, like, this rant is finished, I, I'm just gonna be talking, uh, talking to the camera is, like, what I do naturally, but, uh, yeah, so, have, have a good time with your ankle, um, I'm, I, uh, still need to work on my transitions between, like, that sort of thing, and then back to, like, what I was doing, because I also, I, I, like, if you are still watching, I, I don't know, I feel like, it would be rude if I uh, if I just went back to to what I was doing. I don't know. I'm I'm a I'm a very awkward person. It's <laughs> be noticing at this at this uh, time. But um, yeah, thank you, thank you for watching. Um, is is I guess what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, where was that? <laughs> um, oh yeah, I was gonna check. <laughs> I was gonna check if I had initialized it correctly. I feel like I, 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 I hope that I did, but um, I just want to double check. Cause right, um, spiel spawn time. Right, nope. Spawn period in it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, is it?
Oh no. No, not even spawn period in it. Spawn time in it. Wait. Yeah, spawn time in it, actually. Yeah. Right, okay, so I did that wrong. Something, yeah, something was just like, at the back of my mind, it was like, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it is, that, I think that's what it is. It's the, it's the dilation, or like the, the, t the time, the, the delay between, like, the, the, the stream and, like, the chat. That's, I, I, I'm, I'm new to this. I've only been doing this for a relatively short period of time, so. <laughs> Still getting used to it. Thank you for bearing with me. Uh, <laughs> Um, but I've been doing this for longer, so I don't I don't have an ex a specifically great excuse for why I forgot to use spawn time, or, uh, ESPL spawn time, in it, it, which is what I want there. So that way we are using that value that we just gave, you know, uh, and we want to do that in both places because um, spawn time in it is basically like spawn period, but um, it's it's basically like the first period or like period zero, kind of, uh, uh, and so is that correct? No, this is, again, we want to use, uh, time in it, because we will, we will down below where we're doing this other thing, we will use, uh, spawn period, but, right, not, um, not for starters. For starters, we'll do, we will do that. So, okay, so, <clears throat> uh, right, that feels better. So if XPL spawn time, and you're right, so the way we're using it, we're setting, we're basically, we're saying time is the, the time that we want the next one to spawn. Right, so yeah, that is actually how I tend to use time. Uh, uh, so if, if this time is less than time, uh, capital T time dot fixed time, then it's time for a new one. Uh, so we'll say it's fairly straightforward. Um, so it's the stock. What did we call it? Explosion spawn stock. Uh, we just increment that up, <laughs> and then we look to the future. Um, Specifically, we say EXPL spawn time uh, equals. Uh, actually, I guess we can say plus equals. Same difference. Uh, uh, EXPL. Oh wait, no. Yeah, no, we can do that because we 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 reinitialize this. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, either, either way, uh, EXPL. Uh, spawn period. So then we set the time to be that far in the future. So I think I think this should work now. Probably should have tested the first thing before implementing the next thing. No, I guess they're, they, I mean they're kind of related. Oh right, yeah. So that I I didn't put this. I didn't put the ally uh, or the uh, the mob spawn rate back down. So <laughs> this is all just pour into the scene. Oh. What? Why aren't you in the bucket? Sorry, I keep a hierarchical game object just so that... Oh, right, okay. Wait, what? Mobs, cookie, am I... Uh, what? Did I... Mobs, cookie, am I... I'm I'm still I'm still parenting. Yeah, and it does it doesn't go in the bucket actually. It goes it should be they should, they should be parented to the uh to the mobs. Were we getting errors? No. Uh I'm gonna change the mob spawn right back to something slightly more normal, just because the scene is really weird right now. Um, so you're going to be three, I think is like normal. Um, so... Let's 
throw some cookie. Oh, there's one. And now it's parented correctly, so I'm I'm willing to chalk that up to that. Oh, wh oh wait, but that one's not. So what the what on earth is going on there? I guess I just set up those conditionals wrong. Because also this is a lot of explosive cookies. That's a lot of explosive cookies. This is way more than like five per second. Or one per, one, uh, one per five seconds. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's see what let's see what we did wrong. Uh, right. So oh, wait. No. That's good. Because if we if we never go in here, then ride clear equals false. Oh, right. No, if we never, excuse me, if we never go in there, ride clear equals true. So that's, no, but that that's not really the problem anyways. The problem is that we're, we're spawning too many explosive cookies. Oh, of course, because we're never decreasing the, the stock count. <laughs> yeah. yeah, minus minus, what is it, stock, explosive spawn stock. Yeah, I don't know why things were getting parented weirdly, so that'll probably, we'll have to figure that one out next, but that's why we were getting so many explosive cookies. Um, I should probably put these, uh, these values really low to start, just so that it's easier to, to run through it while we're figuring out what's up. But, uh, ugh. yeah, no, what's the, alright, so what's this parenting issue? Oh, derp. <laughs> We're now putting a conditional around whether rad cleared or anything. Uh, right, we, this stuff we only want to do if, uh... Oh, alright, so yeah, actually we can simplify this condition. Yeah, we can simplify this conditional. Uh, so actually, okay, let's refactor this to, uh... To uh, I guess uh, wait. Do we want to rearrange this stuff? Maybe we don't. Maybe we're maybe we're happy with what it is, with how it is. No, I feel like yeah. The only time we want to we want to do this is if rad clear equals true. No, uh, no, because rad clear equals true in the other case. Right. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, this is fine. I've, I'm not gonna mess this up. I'm just going to add in the check that we should have been adding in in the first place. Uh, which is that only only if right clear equals true do we do any of this stuff. So that doesn't really explain to me why the stuff wasn't parenting correctly, but Oh no it does. It's because um we were spawning a cookie, we were calling it mobs cookie MI, but then we were spawning another cookie and calling the newer cookie mobs cookie MI and then uh and then we were parenting it by its reference as mobs cookie MI, which was only the newer of the two. All right, that explains that. Yep. <laughs> so right. Okay. Oh yeah, I should. I mean, well, I don't know. I don't have any specific reason to think that it won't work right now. So I'll just play it. Oh, the the pip stock is still ridiculously high. It's only supposed to be like nine, but just so that the game would run for a while, I said it. Ludicrous heights. Uh, hero, ally time. 
Uh, oh no, they're still not getting parented correctly. How on earth? I totally fixed it, I swear. Yeah, no, that just doesn't make sense. To me, just work correctly instead, please. How's that? <laughs> How would that sound to you? Am I, um... I mean, most of this I just, like, copied from how it had been set up previously, so I don't imagine that would... Alright, well, let's backtrace, because, we're, yeah, we're, we're clearly parenting. We're c clearly making a, a seemingly accurate parent parental statement, so uh, let's backtrack from here. So... Oh, because we're reevaluating. So there's about a sec. We're, we're uh, decrementing it, and then we're checking it again. So, we do have to do something smarter. Uh, hmm. Um, I, I don't feel like doing something smart right now. Sorry, I'm just not in the mood to be smart. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna do something simple instead. Uh, I'm just going to make this an else case. And, uh, yeah. Get rid of all of this. You're gone. <laughs> and then just also make an else case here. Trees. Trees and branches. Because look how simple this is. It's not going to hurt anyone to just put it right here as well. And all the simplicity to be gained from that. There's probably a clever way that I could have accomplished that instead, but nope, we're doing it this way. Uh, simple and effective. Uh, I, uh, I mentioned it. I mentioned it an hour ago, but in case people uh, trickled in since then, um, I so this uh, yeah I usually stream like I stream most day most. Like my current schedule, my current streaming schedule is like noonish to sevenish most days, uh, most weekdays. Uh, I want to try and do weekends, but so far I haven't, I haven't yet. Um, I haven't gotten into that. Um, today though, I uh, have a thing at six o'clock, so I have to actually. Uh, today I will be streaming for another hour and fifteen minutes thereabouts, uh, because I have to. I turn into a pumpkin <laughs> shortly thereafter. So yeah, I just wanted to give a, a little heads up in case anyone was in for a marathon session. Um, so, so uh, yeah, let's, let's see if see if <laughs> our our uh, cookies are all appropriately parented. Hopefully, that will be the case. Uh, right. <laughs> the hero is kind of a bully. If uh, at the beginning of the game, when there are very few mobs, he'll uh, he'll like chase one down. Like later in the game, he'll start like picking his targets like fairly sensibly. But in the early game, he just like he just finds a mob and just like. I mean, I guess like at this point, I could probably take that out entirely. Like, oh, uh, uh, all right. So things seem to be working all right so far. Um, I mean, it, the the title right now looks basically like how it, uh, oh yeah, we should crank up the, the spawn rate and crank down the explosive spawn period. Yeah, I'm, uh, well, so yeah, I, like, uh, it was like a couple weeks ago. I'm going to be standing in front of my computer making games a lot. Why don't I just share it? Cause like um, I've been I've been into streaming lately. Like I've been in, into watching streams for uh, a while now. Like I actually like 
I used to, I mean, I don't know. I used to watch TV here and there. And I, there are still shows that I like, but, um, I, uh, when I, when I started working independently, I, I, I didn't want to, I knew like, <laughs> once I didn't have a boss, I knew like it would be really easy for me to just like spend a lot of time on the couch just watching TV. So like, I, I kind of like limited the amount of, of that that I, I would do. In fact, I, I basically cut it out entirely this summer. I, I basically watched almost nothing. Um, oh, sorry. Um. I I can't promise I won't move about excitedly. I I promise I I will I will try to stay cognizant and and reduce the extent to which I am. <laughs> Sorry, I um I don't know if I mentioned it recently, but I'm actually standing on a small exercise device, so I um I tend to get amped because like I uh <laughs> this is me using the exercise device and uh yeah <laughs> I so I, I I'm I'm often quite animated um just high energy levels uh, on here. Um, yeah, I got into, I, so yeah, I, I was, I was watching a lot of streams because, uh, I, you know, it was, it wasn't, it didn't take as much of my attention and it wasn't as, uh, distracting as like, you know, I didn't want to just like spend the entire summer like with Netflix, but, um, cause I could and it would, it would have been delightful, but then I would probably would have become homeless. Um, so, <laughs> um, yeah, so, so right, so I was, I, you know, like, if I was having a snack, I would start watching streams, and I started finding streams that I liked, and then I, 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 I you know, since I'm into game dev, I, I liked watching game dev streams, but I, it took me, like, I was having difficulty finding them, like, they, there was, they, like, when I found one, it was, like, so good, and then, uh, and then most of the time, like, I just couldn't find one that I liked, or, like, they're, like it, it's only recently have I actually figured out like where they're hiding because they're out there. They're just they're just very well hidden, um, just like spread out, scattered to the wind, and um, so so I figured it'd help out, right? If if this is something that I like when other people do it, I'll do it, and then maybe other people will like it. That's that's my my goal, anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, and it, if, since I'm, since this is basically like the only difference is that I'm talking. Like if uh, if I wasn't streaming, I'd be doing the exact same thing, except I wouldn't be talking, and I wouldn't have like cool people to hang out with and chat with while I'm doing it. So yeah, I I feel like everyone should stream. I don't know why everyone doesn't just stream, but um, no, I, I like it so far. It's working out for me, I guess. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, what do we got going on? Uh, yeah, I, I think the explosive, the new explosive system, probably is probably working out alright. Uh, at least like just as the simulation runs, like I think. Um, oh well, okay. So now that there are like more mobs in the simulation, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's. I know. Um, like I worked in AAA for the past six years, and uh, I know I could never stream if I was like I. Like, the, um, the company I worked for had, like, a weekly one-hour live cast, but, um, like, everything I did was just under so many non-disclosure agreements that I know I could never have streamed from my desk. Or, like, I never bothered asking, because I assumed the answer was, like, no. Uh, Alright, well, uh... I, I mean, I'm, I'm always looking for dev streamers, so I'd follow that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, with the, uh... <laughs> That's a cool goal. I like that. <laughs> see, see how many people you can get to follow you without ever saying where you're going. <laughs> And then one day it'll go live, and minds will be blown. Or not. Your choice. <laughs> um, yeah, so the simulation is really bland right now. Um, I mean, it's it's basically a game, except I haven't been interacting with it, so I'm calling it a simulation. Um, it's been really bland, because for one thing, I haven't given any power-ups to the hero, and there's no Jeopardy anymore. Or there's very little Jeopardy, because the uh, the explosion spawn period stays at 5 seconds, whereas, uh, the, the actual cookie spawn rate would have put it, um, would have put the explosion spawn rate, uh, much higher just for it previously having been on a fixed ratio. So, clearly, clearly something 
here should now change so that the game is not so completely trivial. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Maybe it's because you have a cool name, Princess Rika. I, I, when I, when I, when I hear that name, I just think I want to follow that person. <laughs> Or for your uh, for your charming chat presence, I wouldn't be surprised if that was uh, if that was it. Uh, that'd be enough. Um, I, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, it's very nice to have you around. I, I'll, I'll uh, reiterate. I might have alluded to it previously, but it, it is very nice to to have you here. You 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 your uh, your commentary and. Uh, your contributions to the chat are are charming. <laughs> thank you for for watching and for uh, for and thank you for your contributions. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think of how to how to fake the because like I don't know the the like the spawn rate was close enough before and I'm thinking like maybe I'll just fake it back to uh, to what it had been before and actually. I guess, uh, wait, let me think, uh, yeah, how about, <laughs> what if, um, when we're setting the, uh, when we're, what if when we're setting, when we set the, uh, spawn period, what if we didn't always use the full spawn period, what if we use the spawn period, um, what, the spawn period times... Uh, hmm. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm thinking we could use a shorter spawn period. Uh, or, like, yeah, so, like, I, I mean, we could, okay. So we could have it so that, uh, there's an initial spawn period. Wait, do we have a set of this initial spawn period? There we go, how I set this up. Uh, yeah, no, we did. Oh, right, yeah, because we did anticipate actually decreasing the spawn period. I was thinking we should just we could just change the calculation to make the, uh, the calculation of how much spawn period actually to add based on the number of mobs currently in the simulation, uh, which would kind of make sense. It would kind of... Um, it would kind of... It, well, it would, it would, like... It would kind of, like recapture that um, that earlier sense where you know the rate at which you were getting explosive devices had a very have very clear correlation to uh, the uh, to the um, the number of the mobs in the simulation so uh, yeah I guess I guess I can just tune around that um, or just I can just like tune it instead to, to be like an appropriate pacing. Yeah, that's probably better because then I don't have to worry as much about the rate of mobs in the simulation. Like I can, I can, I can, I can literally tune those separately. So, um, so yeah. All right. So let's say uh, uh, float or public float float uh, expl spawn period uh, scale equals uh, 0 0.99 f and now we'll say so now every time we apply the uh, the spawn period every time we re-up the uh, the uh, wait where are we? oh we're not there yet Okay. Uh, every time we re-up the um, spawn period will also decrease the spawn period uh, by that rate. So, right, so that, et cetera, et cetera. Um, EXPL spawn, uh, spawn uh, period. Oops, I think I forgot a semicolon up top. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, times equals uh, EXPL spawn uh, period scale. So 
it'll every time it'll every time one spawns will reduce the or not every time one spawns excuse me every time one should spawn will reduce the uh the the time until the next one by a fixed amount and uh if my previous projects are any indication this 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 uh calculation will eventually become much more complex but um the complexity that I add to it will be based on how it feels during balancing. Um, actually, I just I guess if anyone's curious, I'm I'm slightly curious, so I don't know if anyone else is. But um, in my project Grav, the uh, there, it, it uses a similar pacing to the to the way the game structure is presented, or like the the way the game is structured. Excuse me. Um, so wait, no, not build uh, assets. Uh, uh, what is it? It's a uh, place. It's called place items, but it's actually a much bigger script than that. Uh, man, where is it? Uh, wave length grow by wave. Oh man, there's so many. A lot of these. Yeah. Like the reason this whole section starts with like all these floats start with wave and they're all public, is that I was trying to get the the time between individual waves, like the, the, if you haven't seen this game, it, um, it, like the, the, uh, like, so, it's like, it's basically like, it's like a arcade like, physics-based brick breaker where you try and, like, clear out the screen, and, uh, well, <laughs> the tutorial is, like, actually really hard, <laughs> which I guess I did for, on purpose, so that, like, you had a chance to to get acclimated to the controls, because it's actually just that the controls are really hard, and the challenges never get that difficult, is that the, the controls are still really hard. Uh, anyways, like, they're discrete waves, and so, in order to calculate, um, like, the, the timer bar at the top of the screen, which apparently is super unintuitive and not very many people understand, but, like, the timer ticks down slowly until you've cleared the, all of the capsules, in which case it ticks down fast and you, go, you move on to the next wave. Apparently that doesn't come across, and it's, it's one of the things I, I know I have to communicate better about this game. Uh, I don't have a specific update plan for it yet, but I think I might I might actually revisit it after I finally get a release version of Hira. Um, and by release, I mean, like, get it to, like, basically this level, like, uh, what we're seeing here, where uh, it's not, like, it's not a finished game, but it's at least, like, fully playable. Um, right, so yeah, okay, so there are waves, and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, that one's playable on my website, by the way. Um, the link to my website you can probably find directly underneath uh, the uh, the stream uh, srsly.bz. Uh, oh, and also there's <laughs> there's that text on like the uh, on the screen about how like there's a a, a, a pre-alpha build of Hero that you can poke around at. Anyways, um, yeah, no, my point was just that like all these these public variables are called wave because like I use so, like. I don't know, I just, like, I wanted to get it to feel right, like, the, a lot of the feedback I was getting, uh, revolves around the idea of, like, you know, how, how the game is progressing, and how I feel like I'm progressing through the game, and, like, whether I'm, uh, improving or not, um, and so, in order to get that, as, as good as I, I, I could, I, I, I just, uh, well, yeah, let's see where the, uh, where these actually get used, uh, what, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about, uh, uh, I'll just, yeah, control F. Um, right, so yeah. <laughs> this is like, this is basically like, uh, so instead of spawning a new explosive cookie, this is like when a new wave starts, which is, you know, similar in that, like, it occurs at a specific time, and then, um, yeah, so, uh, so wavelength, basically like the, the time between waves, times equals mathf.pow, Wave duration growth, comma. <laughs> I mean, you can read it. It's your hand screen. It's just this is what I ultimately I just, I like this started out as simple as this other as the uh, explosion spawn period thing, and then I was like, well, no. What if I just what if I multiply by this? What if I add in this other factor? What if I what if I raise this one to the power of this other factor? And and I just kept on tweaking and tuning it. So I know that's ahead of me. And actually. Like, I spent, like, I think an afternoon coming up with, like, this, uh, block for how I wanted waves to, uh, to progress and grab, 
I'm gonna probably spend like a week on Hero, because Grav is a much simpler game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I got that to look forward to. Uh, anyways, uh, that was a diversion. Uh, such, such simple beginnings lead to such <laughs> much bigger calculations. Okay, uh, so, so yeah, let's see, let's, now let's toy around with that number to see what, um, like, we don't have to get it right immediately, but, um, let's just see if it's actually, like, making sense right now. Oh, and, and to get that, oh, that was the hero being a bully, by the way. Uh, <laughs> uh, in case you didn't believe me. Um, I'm just gonna make the thing that we're affecting, uh, the period, the, I'm just gonna make it public so we can look at it, uh, to see if it's doing what we want it to do. Or, like, just to, sometimes it's easier just, like, just you know, having the feeling of the passage of time and seeing how the number is changing, sometimes you can, or like, I find that helpful because I, uh, I can kind of get a sense of like, just from the, just from that, that number. So now we're down to 4.95, which makes sense because we were at five and we got, all right, now we're down at 4.9. So it's definitely like the, the period is definitely decreasing already uh, at a noticeable rate, like it's already, it's already significantly lower than it started, and this is also the sort of thing that because, like, um, this period also affects the rate at which this period changes, it will, um, I mean, it's multiplicative what we're doing, but it might even start to feel linear just because it's not, like, the, the multiplicative event is, is a uh, is a is occurring faster and faster. So it's it's not I don't it's not literally linear, right? I mean, it's it's not literally linear, but it, you know it'll feel like that sense of uh, urgency almost. At least you know it'll it'll feel a greater sense of of urgency than a a consistently multiplicative uh, thing. All right. Oh yeah. And so I guess I could even play the game too. No point in not playing the game. Uh, although I do have the pip set ridiculously high. Did I already lose the game? No, I only lost one. <laughs> I only lost one pip. We're still good. Um, multiply, I don't know, bombs, sure. Uh, strength on bombs, strength on bombs. Dash, yeah, my faves. Oh yeah, we should do that thing to dash. I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's not vital. I just like... Dash is like my... F it's... Da um, so when I implemented Dash, that was, like, the first time it felt like a game. So I think I just have fond memories. Like, actually, um, if anyone wants to see what the, what this game was like not long ago, like, I think it was, like, a week and a half or a little while ago that, um, I posted, like, the, f it's not even, like, I called it P1, which usually means first playable, but is not, um, wait, okay, so, Hero... Or, okay, uh, srsly dot bz slash hero is the build that there's, you know, the, there's that reminder at the bottom of the stream about it, but um, if you go to p1, this is the previous build, and this was, this I think this was right after I implemented Dash, so you can see, like, the UI is all very placeholder, like, there's no modifiers or anything, for, for one thing, the mobs are uh, spheres, and they don't have coins, and look how far you punt them, uh, yeah, so the the thing that this build has, though, is that um, it had bombs, a very early version of bombs, which had incredibly long range from the start. Um, and I guess, actually, this build, I think, might have been, this build was before we actually implemented multi-dash, which is fine, but, um, oh, no, you know what you can do? is this, this build was before cooldown, so you can just, like, mash these abilities. Right, that's why we didn't need multi-dash, because... Uh, yeah, this was, like, the first build that I had dash up and running, and, um, so I would just amuse myself by, like, just sitting here clicking dash, 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 and then, <laughs> Um, yeah. And that was, like, the first time that I was, like, genuinely amused by the game. In a while, at least. Like, I, I'm, I'm fairly easily amused, so, like, there were a few other, like, not milestone builds, but, like, like, features that once, uh, implemented 
felt just felt very rewarding. So those are the ones that that I like that <laughs> right? <laughs> and then like the multi dash. That's why I always stack multi on dash. Like um usually my favorites are uh in in, in this sort of game is uh is like allies. So like usually I'd want to stack all my uh, multiplicity on on uh, the hero to get a bunch of allies, but multi dash it uh it, it might have changed the <laughs> way I play games. <laughs> I always stash I always stack uh, speed on dash, or I t- I typically stack speed on dash because I just like using <laughs> I just like using it as much as possible. Yeah, which I I I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to balance it because I think actually using speed on dash is not necessarily an ideal strategy. I think um, the way the game is set up presently, um, multi dash. <laughs> the way the game is set up presently, I think it's actually uh, more advantageous to to stack it on bombs because bombs are so bombs. I'm tempted to say bombs are overpowered, but I think it's that the game is also overpowered, or at least like previous iter- iterations of the game have had. Like back when back when uh, explosive uh, devices spawned, like like at a certain point in the game, they spawned like crazy fast. Uh, bombs were the uh, like it's it's a uh, it's how you can pinpoint to remove uh, specific threats um, by like because you know with the targeting system you can you can put them in specific places. Oh, I have multi bomb going on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'd almost forgotten, but, um, I think actually what I need to do is, redu- uh, so, uh, yeah, so I got the, the feeling that bombs were overpowered, but I, I think actually what I need to do is, uh, reduce the player's reliance on bombs so that there are other effective strategies, because, I mean, part of the reason that I, I, you know, set up this modifier system to be, um, as it is, I, I wanted players to have options, like, I wanted these to be meaningful choices, like, when they choose to, like, like which of their powers to to enhance uh, and in what ways like I wanted that to be a very meaningful decision so um, it actually a uh, fun fact the the original design for the game would have had uh, well not the original design but an early iteration of the game would have had a uh, choice in in which power-ups to use. However, instead of getting to use all of your power-ups, at every juncture, instead of presenting one power-up, it would present two power-ups, and you'd have to choose between the two. But it was difficult to convey the 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 power-ups stacking up. Um, I um, I was going to have it so that uh, so that this first one where it says strength right now, this spot here wouldn't be a power-up, it would just be a number, and it would represent the number of, of power-ups that you could use. So, um, so like, when the fir- so essentially, like, the first time, or whatever, uh, this would click to one, and then two of them would appear here. And so you could take one of them, and as soon as you took one, the number would go to zero. Um, and then the next time you got more, like, more would stack up, and the number would, uh, would increase again. That was like the that was like the idea that that led to the current system, but um, yeah, I didn't like how that one was conveyed. Uh, the the interesting thing about that system though is that I was going to have a trash can, so instead of just letting the ones you don't pick pile up, you could actually move the uh, the unused ones into a trash can, which was probably going to be like up here or something, and uh, it was going to be next to the score because you could actually boost your score by. Uh, by declining a power up, um, and I mean, so you you couldn't use all your power ups, so uh, you had to decline some. But um, I mean, hypothetically, you could have just like cashed in all your power ups for points under that system. Anyways, yeah, uh, I hadn't thought about that in a while, but just thinking, I don't know. I guess just looking at the old build made me start thinking about like the history of the project. Anyways, I totally lost this game because. Uh, I started with nine 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 nine, and now I'm at nine 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 eight nine, which means I've lost ten pips. I've lost eleven pips, uh, whereas the actual number is only like it's only supposed to be. Uh, oh, but I haven't been using my. All right, so that could be good. 
Because I was losing pips. That's a sign that... That, uh... Okay, yeah, so the, the spawn period at this point for the explosive devices is under a second, so that felt that felt like an okay amount of time. I mean, we took those diversions, so the sense of timing... Um, yeah, actually, yeah, they, they are going to be color-coded. Uh, so, right, yeah, so the... Um, yeah, I, see, I, I hope you can tell that these are uh, placeholder icons, um, just the, the ones with the little scribbles on them. The reason, I haven't, the reason I haven't even started doing the icon art yet is because I still don't know what POW 3 is. Here, wait, hold on. I don't know if you saw it yet, but there is a POW 3 in this, in this uh, sequence. Um, it, it's the 20th one to spawn. POW 3! There is a POW 3. It just does... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I cheated. <laughs> I cheated pips. Um... But yeah, so the reason I haven't done icon art yet is because I still don't know what POW three is, and I want um, I want to make sure that the uh, well the reason I'm so I'm, I want I want POW three to be uh, to be like unique so that it doesn't feel like just another version like just not like I want it to be so okay the idea is that bombs are like your bread and butter like this one the cooldown is really fast and you can use it like almost constantly. Um, I think I'm going to slow it down slightly so that the player doesn't have to rely on it as heavily, but it's still going to be really fast. Dash takes a little longer to recharge. Like, it's kind of like an oh no button. Like, uh, I mean, you, if you stack it up, it can, you can, like, sweep up a lot of targets in one dash. And so, um, I'm also going to, I'm also planning on adding, um, I don't, I don't know if you hear, what? <laughs> yeah, this, this score is not going on the leaderboards. Um, <laughs> Oh, uh, leaderboards. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at this. The uh, the spawn period is like... Is it... Oh, wow. All right, there it is. We hit the, uh, we hit the end of the universe. Um, sorry, I have like a million chains of thought that have gone nowhere. But, uh... Huh. Oh. Oh, well, okay, I guess that's actually introduced an interesting, uh, case. I, th I think, like, that error we got, we got it under weird circumstances that I don't intend to, I don't in intend for those conditions to, those circumstances to exist in the final product, but because we exposed ourselves to that, we found, um, we, like, ferreted it out, uh, something that is real. I think, um, so... So what are we seeing here? This is the case wherein a chain reaction is occurring and a mob so a chain reaction uh, is is when okay, so if there are multiple explosive cookies on the field and one of them detonates, you might notice that when that happens, like it clears out a swath of the field. Oh, that actually sorry, while I'm on that, I'm gonna I can't keep saying one topic very long today. It's I'm not always like this, I don't think. Maybe I am. I don't know. Anyways, scorch mark, sorry. Uh, uh, hero. Um, okay, so... Uh, uh, right, so yeah, when if, if another explosive cookie gets caught up in the blast of a previous cookie, it doesn't get cleared like the rest do. It lingers for a moment, and it, it sets off a chain reaction, where a moment later, it then detonates. So this this case that we're seeing here is the case where... Uh, this is... So in Destroy Mob... Um, wait, where's Dissipate handled? Uh, dissipate is handled... Right... Dissipate is handled in, um, sorry, um, or neutralize. I forget what it's called. Neutralize, I think. Uh, typically, a the destruction of a um, of an explosive cookie um, is handled in neutralization, where when the when a mob holding an explosive cookie suffers knockback, the knockback knocks the cookie out of the mob's hand, uh, and you know the mobs only suffer knockback as the result of a hero's auto attack or an ally's auto attack or a hero's ability or power and so that's yeah that's the that's like 
that's the good thing. That's the thing you're, you're trying to accomplish most of the time. However, so the other case in which the uh, uh, explosive cookie could... Uh, the, the game might attempt to destroy an explosive cookie is in a chain reaction, which is here. So if the mob's getting destroyed uh, and it ha didn't already get knocked back, that means it's getting blown up in, a, in one of those uh, explosions. And so this case is the case we're in... The, the case, so the case that we're setting chain explosion cookies um, is the case that, that the mob had been in mob follow mode 2 uh, mob follow mode one is is holding a regular cookie, and follow mode two is a uh, an explosive cookie. I I know I could use um, enumerators for this, but or enums for this, but I um, I'm the only one on the project. So <laughs> I just instead remember it. Probably again, not a great practice, but um, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> um, pardon. Um, so yeah, so right, so in this case. There's holding a supposed to cookie, and so... Uh, all right, so, yeah, so let's look at the error. Because I think the error is that... Wait, index out of range exception? Oh, yep. Yeah, yep. All right, I know exactly what's happening. Uh, this is a bigger chain reaction than we ever anticipated. I I set an, I actually set the, the buffer for the chain reaction to be, like, arbitrarily large. Uh quite literally, like the, so chain explosion cookies, the length of it is 50, and 50 is just an arbitrary large number, and that's because I, I didn't ever want a chain reaction to include that many cookies. In fact, I don't, I don't even want a chain reaction to include, like, a third as many. However, um, chain, multiple chain reactions can happen on the board at the same time, if, like, if, if, um, if on separate sides of the hero, uh, cookies detonate at the same time, or, like, you know, close enough in timing, they, um, you know, there could be two active chain reactions, and so I figured 50 was, yeah, enough, was arbitrarily high enough to, uh, to cover those cases, but apparently, yeah, no, we, um, well, okay, that's good. I, at first I was concerned that, um, <laughs> I love arrays. Oh my gosh, do you want to see, do you want to see something scary? This was so bad. This was when I started to question my use of arrays. Um, Oh, where's the where's the worst case of it? It was uh oh it's in the UI system yeah, all right. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I'm proud of how bad my code is. <laughs> I feel accomplished for having surmounted the conceptual complexity of uh of like what my code, how my code reads. Um, but in order to set it up, oh yeah okay, here it is. This is the best part. So this is in um. This is in the UI system. This is in the case where, uh, so uh, we're in pause more at zero because the game is running, and so if mouse button, if okay, yeah. So if so, the, the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's hard to miss them, right? <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> it's it's because I don't. Um, well, it's not just because I don't. Uh, yeah, no, I don't, I don't make, I don't declare classes as I should. Like, I should really, I should have a class for mob, and then I should have a subclass for green mob, and I should have a subclass for team hero, and then I should have a subclass for hero and for ally. Um, but I... Uh, <laughs> I, um... All right, I, I, I don't know, I was, I, uh, yeah, so I think I mentioned this before, but part of the reason I didn't approach the project from that angle is that this was supposed to be a much simpler project, and then I just kept working on it, and I kept working on it, and then you know what happened is I couldn't come up with POW 3, I had no clue what POW 3 was supposed to be, and so I've been working on this project for like a week and a half, and I've been like, I've been basically like blocked in that, like I really probably shouldn't be working on it, because like... I just, I don't have, I don't, like, I want to be working on it, but because I'm, I'm puzzled about that one thing, and that's the one thing that I should be doing, I just keep doing other things, and, like, adding other things, and, like, other things, because <laughs> why not? I mean, I have the time, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I haven't used collections. I should look into that. 
Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, I did. I never really intended the project to be. Yeah, it was. It was supposed to be simpler. It was supposed to be simpler. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, like, it literally, like, I, I originally I was going to bang this project out in a week, and now it's become uh, 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 a slightly bigger thing. So, I mean, I probably shouldn't continue on. I should probably like just call it to like, close it out. Actually, you know what? Maybe this is an epiphany, or this is maybe this is like a revelatory moment because like um, I've already started thinking about the next project that I want to work on, and uh, the only reason I haven't started on it yet is because I haven't finished this, and the reason I haven't finished this is because I haven't come up with Path Three. So maybe tomorrow, if I don't know what Path Three is, I should just not. Maybe I should just move on to the next project. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it only counts as scope. Um, it only counts as scope creep if you have a deadline, right? <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's one of those things that like I've 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 come this far, and so I keep uh, I, I don't know. I keep do I keep doing what I'm doing, um, and then I I end up with stuff like. Uh, Oh, where's the best part? Yeah, so, uh, so here we are setting avail buttons of index slot avail index ASI pressed <laughs> dot transform dot parent to, um, this wasn't even the most conceptually complex part. The, uh, I, I have it set up so that you can, um, you can, you don't have to go bomb dash path three. You can do, you can put the, you can put whatever powers you want in whatever slots you want. Um, yeah, well, so... Yeah, so <laughs> I get, part of the reason I can just spend so much time on this project is that, well, like, for example, at the start of today, like, I didn't have, like, any of these things. Like, the... Or, actually, no, maybe... I think this this is probably the part where I started. Like, I didn't have any of these things. This, well, all right, I won't literally move them. But uh, you can imagine, it was a much shorter list. Uh, and so, like, as I, as I look at the game, I just, like, because I know that I'm basically procrastinating, but I'm basically just wasting time until, like, I can actually implement Power 3. Uh, if you look back through my stream archive, like, a week ago, my, uh, stream was entitled The Quest for Power 3, and, no, it's been a long quest. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I, they're all improvements. I stand behind everything that I've done. I, but, th yeah, but then the, the... The side effect is that I have a, I have a game, with which is much more complex than, its, code base was intended to support. <laughs> uh, I get by. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe if I, uh, maybe if I really can't come up with a uh, power three, I'll, um, I'll instead just like refactor my entire project. Basically, like, I'll basically like, uh, just remake my project <laughs> from scratch. <laughs> oh no, I can't even think about that. <laughs> um, all right, we don't need pips to be ridiculously high. So while I'm thinking about things, I'll uh, I'll I'll set that. Um, and then right. So the other. So right. Yeah, the error that we we were getting in that simulation, I was worried about. As a, it seemed I thought it might have been indicative of a, a more realistic case, or yeah, like a. A more urgent case, but actually, this is this is fairly easy to fix. Basically, just th this just means that we have to respect that arbitrarily large number as arbitrarily large, and we can't approach that arbitrarily large number because, as we as we said at the outset, that number is large and should not be approached. Uh, we should instead deal with much more reasonably sized numbers. Um, and in order to do that, I think um, my 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 first inclination is to say we will have a hard minimum on the spawn period so no matter how fast they spawn they'll never spawn more quickly than you know uh, I do this with a uh, with grav as well there's like a point at which the waves stop getting faster and faster like waves I think happen I think at the minimum on that project landed somewhere around like two seconds so you might get a new wave every two seconds but at that point you're probably gonna lose. You're probably about to lose the game anyway. So good luck. Um, I 
I mean, I like I if like if I if I really wanted to cut POW three, all I'd have to do is just move like get rid of this extra th this third button, just move that off screen. Because <laughs> like the only thing POW three does right now is is nothing. It